go. Was there a time with you, Mimi? But then we went to Disney together. I love you and I hope you have a good birthday. And, and I miss you so much. Uh, how about you still? Um, I miss you and I hope you have a good birthday. I like reading books with you. I hope you have a good birthday. Oh, very sweet, honey. All right, Lewis, how about what do you want to say to Mimi? I like doing Disney World and I love watching all uh, fun to with you, and I was playing with you, and I was doing tic-tac-toe with you. Tic-tac-toe? Well, okay. Alright, good job, kiddos. Tic -tac -tac -tac. There's, there's Lennon going crazy with his blanket. <laughs> he, he wants to wish you good birthday. That's right. Happy birthday! And, and, <laughs> and I, I want to miss you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas, Mimi. I love how you uh, taught us about no neck and all those legends you tell, told us. And I just love you so much. I remember when you like picked me up from school, you gave me like a uh, treat. I just love you so much. Bye, Mimi. You're a sweet boy. Mimi, thanks for always looking out for B and Buddy. They get so excited every time you're around, just like everyone does. You're the best Mimi we could ever ask for. We love you. Bye! Buddy, say happy birthday, Mimi. Happy birthday! <laughs> Here. That was great, Brady. <laughs>
and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Hey, Marnie. I hope you have a really happy birthday. We love you so much, and I can't wait to see you soon. I just want you to know how much I love and care about you. I'm so grateful to have you as my second mom. I'm so lucky to have you as my kiddos. Mimi, you're so amazing and you care about us so much and you take such good care of us. I feel very blessed to have you as someone who accepts me for who I am and appreciates me and loves me and I'm so grateful for you. I love thinking about all the adventures we've had, some of the scary ones in England and the Cliffs of Moor where we thought we were gonna die and we had to grab onto each other as we thought about falling off a cliff or wrecking on those country roads. I'm so grateful that I've had you for life-changing events like when I married your handsome son and when we had our beautiful babies. I'll never forget you riding with us to the hospital with Jackson before my c-section and i was so scared and you stayed in the room and you helped keep me calm it made me feel so good and confident and i just love you so much and and i especially love and appreciate just the quiet times we have together whether we're sitting in the living room having a glass of wine and i hear your wonderful stories about turkey and your family or whether we're having a glass of wine at the bonfire or a cup of coffee, all those quiet moments are just so special with me, to me, excuse me, I'm no good at these videos, so sorry, baby. Uh, but I want you to know I love you and I appreciate you and I care about you and I hope you have the very best birthday and I can't wait to see you soon. Mom, 70th birthday, wow. Where do I start? I'm on one of our favorite places in the world, the Chesapeake Bay, where you raised us. And it just, we've made so many awesome memories down you here. I don't even know where to start. Like I said, with all of our memories, you have been there for me through thick and thin. You're not only my mom, but you're my best friend. You got these two crazies running around behind me. Um, and I mean, literally, we have laughed our butts off at so many things from traveling out to Montana and Lake Tahoe, going to Europe. I mean, the trip in the car in Ireland where Paul was driving so close to the side of the road that we knocked off the rear view mirror. I think he knocked off a rear view mirror in Yellowstone on the snowmobiles too. <laughs> um, and then you've been there for everything for me. Um, you walked me down the aisle at my wedding. You were there with me when Brady was born with Ben and the doula and Paul. You make every day brighter. You literally bring such a joy into the room when you're around. Um, and one thing that a lot of people mentioned in these videos is how you bring so much adventure and passion to everything. A few people talked about how you've always fed them. And I wanna thank you for teaching me to be adventurous and teaching me to welcome people in my home and always be there for others and cook for them and love them and um, I love that people tell me I look just like you and that I act like you. I think we act quite differently, but I hope that I can be just half the woman that you are when I turn 70. Um, we're 25 years apart, and I hope you have another 50 years with us here on Earth. Um, we wouldn't know what to do without you. You've been my mom and my dad and my best friend and everything in between. Mimi, I love you so much. Um, Thanks for always being there for everybody. And there goes crazies again. They're just Hi, running Mimi. circles around. There they go. <laughs> um, I love you so much. I'll see you soon on your birthday. And I hope you love this tribute that we put together for you. Mwah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mimi. Love Wish you. Wishing you the best 70th birthday ever. This is Chloe and Steven here talking from Hawaii. <laughs> We wish you were here, but we understand for COVID, you can't be with us. So we will see you when we get back. Love you. Hey, Mimi. Happy birthday. I think you're 60, 50, something like that. I'm not sure, but wishing you the best. Um, I'll be going to California this weekend. So uh, I'll see you when we get back. Happy birthday.
Happy, happy birthday, Marnie. Some of my favorite memories go way back. Uh, from riding in the convertible Volkswagen and having lunch at the Belmont restaurant on uh, 21st Street when the Belmont was a thing. Playing songs on those little jukeboxes that were in each, uh, at each table. Um, but God, so many memories, so many memories, um, so many good memories. You've always been there for me and I always feel so much uh, more like myself after talking to you. I hope you have a great birthday um, and an amazing year and, and many more. And I hope to see more of you, a hell of a lot more of you soon than I have in the past year. What a year it's been. Love you very much. Happy birthday. Black. Hey Hunter, this tell is my king, right? Hunter, tell Marnie happy birthday. Look at me. Happy birthday, Marnie. Look, we're playing a hell of a game of chess right here. Joe, Don't happy birthday. Happy back. birthday, Marnie. And happy birthday, Marnie. That's all we can get. I could say it a lot nicer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mimi. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Marnie. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Hi, Marnie. Wishing you a very happy 70th birthday. Enjoy it with all your loved ones. Happy birthday, Marnie. Happy birthday, Mimi. Happy birthday. To one of the best cooks we know and a great mom. We love you. Hope this year is awesome. So happy birthday. Love you. Love you, Mimi. Hey, Marnie. Happy birthday. I've got so many awesome memories with you, but what comes across most with you is your unconditional love and the way that you've taken me into your family and how generous and kind you are to everybody that's around you. And the memory that's sticking out the most that I get to see every time I get to see Brady is how much you put into him and the love that you show for him. And like I said, everybody around you, you're a really special woman and I hope you have a wonderful and very happy birthday. Hi, Marnie. Wishing you a happy, happy birthday. We love you. You're beautiful on the inside and the outside. May 2021 be your best year ever. Love you. Thank you a very happy birthday, Marnie. May 2021 be a great year. I know you love your kids and your family so much, and I hope that you continue to have great times with them. Happy birthday. We're rolling. Let's all raise our glass for this lovely lady, Marnie, who is celebrating a major milestone of her birthday. May you always feel the love of your entire family and all of your friends. May your future be bright, and today be the light that guides you. We wish you joy, happiness, and everlasting love. <laughs> and Let's toast to Marnie. A toast to you for health, wealth, and happy birthday. We love you, Marnie. Drink up, Tom. Ooh. Happy birthday. See you soon, we hope. Hey Marnie, just want to wish you a very happy birthday and I want to let you know you're the best aunt ever on this planet. We love you so much. Happy mm. birthday Mimi, love you. Marnie, I guess I've known you a long, 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 long time, but we don't count those decades, girl. We're just getting younger by the day. God bless you and 70 more. We love you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday.
This is so important. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Marnie, my much older sister. Um, I love you very much, and I cannot believe that you are as old as you're going to be. We we're not going to mention the number of years. Um, I think about all the times in the past that I remember about you and all I can remember is you were always mean to me <laughs> and I still have nightmares about having holes in my pajamas because of you. You scared me to death and I hope this is a terrible birthday for you. I love you. Wow. Olivia? I'm the last. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Marty, pay no attention to Mr. Christmas over here. He's bah humbug tonight. Um, anyway, we just wanted to wish you a, a very, very happy birthday. Um, and one of the memories that I wanted to share with you was a really cute memory when we were over at your mom and dad's house and Sarah was just a little tiny toddler and she, we were trying to get her to say Aunt Mimi. And she, or shoot, we were trying to get her to say, <laughs> shoot, I messed that up. Come on. We were trying to get her to say <laughs> Aunt Marnie, and she just couldn't do it. She was struggling, and somehow it came out Aunt Mimi. And you were like, that's close enough for me. I love it. That's my new name. I'm Aunt Mimi. And I just love how that name has, has stuck with you for not only our kids, but your grandkids, all of your family friends' kids. Um, and then, because and the name was so it. special, I she decided to it. adopt it for myself when I became a grandma. So I'm glad that we get to share the name Mimi together. Um, so anyway, happy birthday. We love you. We miss you. We hope to see you soon. Yeah, happy birthday, Mimi. Uh, I just want to wish you nothing but the best. And um, we love you. We miss you. And hope to see you soon. Happy birthday. Yeah, I was only kidding about... <laughs> It being the worst birthday ever. I hope it's the best birthday ever. <laughs> we love you and we can't wait to see you again in person after all this nightmare is over. But enjoy your birthday and have a happy, happy year. Love you. Happy birthday. Okay, perfect. Oh. Let's see. Oh, God, I forgot to hit record. Happy birthday, Brayden say hi. <laughs> we hope you're having the best day. We wish we were there to celebrate with you. Um, I would say my favorite Mimi memory has got to be any of the numerous Camp Mimi um, little mini vacations that my parents would bring us to where we would come stay with you at Virginia Beach for a few days in the summer. Um, me, Lauren, and Mackenzie would all come down and I just remember um, having the best time with you guys. Um, you would take us, you know, you would always plan the most fun activities. We would go see the dolphins. We would go to the beach. Um, you would take us to go, go get our nails done. And I just remember feeling very special and having the best time with you there. And hopefully uh, Camp Mimi is still in operation for me to bring my kids to. Um, when we eventually move back to the States. We love you so much and hope you have a great day. Bye. Hey Mimi, happy birthday. I hope that you're able to get out and do something fun for yourself today. Um, my favorite Mimi memory is definitely uh, coming up to stay with you guys in Virginia Beach over the summers and hanging out playing with Ziggy um, in your backyard and coming up for Easter and doing all the Easter egg hunts. You always made it so much fun for us kids growing up and I'm so glad that there's a new crop of kids that are able to enjoy spending their time and growing up with you. So happy birthday, enjoy your day and have a great rest of the year. Yes. Which never seems to end, but but yes. anyway, 
Sometimes people do work around it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, we can't work around Zoom because Sissy can't figure Zoom out. No, she can do. She just looked at her phone. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, anyway, all we right. love you. Love you, Sissy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. And, all, and all our puppies want to say happy birthday, too, but they're just hanging. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Happy birthday, Sis. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Molly. Happy birthday to you. Jingle bells, jing no, sorry, wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> hey Marnie, happy birthday from England. We love you so no, much. Suffolk. Well, Suffolk, England. The country that we're in is England. And we're in Suffolk, yeah? Anyway. Um, ho, ho. <laughs> happy birthday, Marnie. We love you so much. Um, we can't believe we're not all able to be there to ho, celebrate ho, ho. with you. Um, ho, ho, ho. One day. One day. One day, man. Next year, maybe. Um, we love you so much. Peace and goodwill to all and all that stuff. Take care. Bye. Hey, Marty, it's your birthday and we've got a cheeky little message from these two. Oh, plus one. <laughs> what, Mommy told me to do it. Okay. Uh, happy 70th, Marty, I can't believe it. Still as cute as a button. Happy birthday, Marnie. I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and, I <am. laughs> and I mean it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Marnie. Happy birthday, Marnie. <laughs> You've raised my children, your children, Stephen's kid, and every other kid that's ever walked into your house, and dog and cat, and... God knows what else. You are the most amazing per person in the universe. And now it's over to Peter. Um, it's your turn now to raise a little elf. We love you and we miss you a lot. Take care. Yeah, I drink to that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Marty, happy birthday. I'm here with your boy. It's terrible. <laughs> it's so good. Best time I remember with you is every time, and the food is amazing. So keep it classy. Happy 70th. And uh, you. here's from Cincinnati. Okay, go ahead. Happy birthday, Marnie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Marnie. Happy 70th. Happy birthday, Marnie. Love you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mimi. Um, one of my favorite Mimi memories is going to Camp Mimi with Sarah and Lauren and all the fun times that we had there. We hope you have a great birthday and hope to see you soon. Love you. Hi, Marnie. Happy birthday. Um, I'm so honored to be a part of your birthday celebration this year by um, sending you this video. And the memory that I wanted to share um, was one from my childhood. And it was one of my visits um, back to Virginia. Um, it was during a summer when um, I spent quite a bit of time there that summer. And I would come down to your house at Ocean View and um, hang out with the kids and we'd go to the beach and play in the sand and you always had fun things for us to do and you kept us clean and all together and made us lunches and great meals and um, just looked after all of us and that was including me and I have just wonderful memories of that time at your home and you were like my second mom to me while I was back there um, in the summertime. And um, I remember that really well, and I just appreciate all that you've done for me over the years and for our entire family. 
Um, so I just wanted to wish you a very happy 70th birthday. Um, I love you. Take care and be well. Bye-bye. Hey, Marty. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas. I'm recording this on Christmas Day, and I can't help but think about you because of all the years that we've spent together on Christmas, when we were little and even when we were older. And it was always just the best. You have always been like a second mom to me, but I am not the only person you're a second mom to. You've always been super welcoming and open with your home and open with your dinners and open with everything you've got and always worried about other people. And because of that, we all love you. Have a really good happy birthday. I love you so much. Bye. Hey, happy birthday. This is from your dear, dear, dear friend. You are my bestie. You have been my bestie for, I don't know, what, 40 years? We met in the 80s on the beaches of Ocean U, right after you came back to Norfolk. I think Paul was four, John was five, and I guess Tara was seven. And we've been together ever since, through thick and thin, through good times and bad, through raising our children. Woo! That was skating. And you know what? They're all, all wonderful, successful kids. And now we get to watch them raise their children. We get to watch them raise their children. So I love you so much. And who you are for me is mother. The goddess Hestia represents home and heart, and that is who you are for me. You know, our funniest story is how we met. And in that moment, in two weeks, three weeks, you took care of my child. You took care of my five-year-old so for I could take a break. And I flew off to California. I did. My mom was around to help during the day, but you, during the night, but you did it. I knew from the minute I met you that I could trust you forever. And I could certainly trust you with my children because that's who you are, your mother. And that's who you'll always be for me. And that is amazing. I love you so much. Happy 70th birthday. And may we have many, many more. Love you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mimi. We love you so much. It's impossible to pick just one memory because we have so many awesome memories. You introduced us to? No Neck. No Neck, who we're always on the hunt for. You're always so much fun, and we just love being with you at the beach and the mountains, always up for adventure, and we could not love you more. So I hope you have the most wonderful birthday. This little guy was all ready to say happy birthday. Wait, I'll hold it. But he fell asleep. Hey, Marnie. Happy birthday. We miss you. We miss you a lot. Lots of, lots of fun times over the past uh, 50 years or so. Uh, I want to say, do you remember Ned Over and Pearl? Lots of good times in Mag's head. Some skin knees and some... I'm not going to even say everything else that we did while we were there. Fun times in Puerto Rico. I'm sorry that you didn't come to visit me when I lived there because it was it was great and it's same old Puerto Rico. When COVID gets over, let's hope that we can all get together and um, you know you come down here or I'll come up to Virginia Beach. We'll meet in Ag's Head. Happy 70th and God bless you. Love you. Many more. Hey, Marnie. Happy birthday to you. Um, hope it's a wonderful one. Um, just have so many great memories as a kid growing up um, with all you guys. And I was just thinking the other day of uh, a memory of us all going skiing together and uh, just laughing and, and having so much fun with Tara and Paul and, and goofing off and getting into trouble. But um, yeah, I'm just so thankful that my child and your grandchildren all you know still are able to play together and, and connect and um you know i'm 
hopeful that after all this COVID stuff, we, we can all get together soon. And um, just wishing you well. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marnie. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thought I'd post that picture of Raquel Welch to remind you I'm probably the only person who's ever told you that you look like Raquel Welch. Of course, that was a while ago, probably uh, maybe 1968, 69. I think I was in sixth, seventh grade and you were junior, senior high school. I somewhere back there that Puerto Rico day so it goes way back the back 40 and all that anyway uh, Tara had a wonderful idea to celebrate your birthday and thought you'd get a little chuckle out of this uh, happy birthday to you and just to let you know that think of you and love you and wishing you a wonderful day happy birthday girl Hi, Marty. Happy birthday. Uh, you're looking great. I wish I could be down there and celebrate with the Pascaruis clan, um, but this is the next best thing. So um, the instruction said to think of some great memories that um, we had with you. I've had so many, um, but I'm going to go back to my senior year in high school when I um, had to take a remedial math class to get into tax engineering school and came up and stayed with you in the family that summer. Hunter was on a scallop boat, as I recall, and Jack was in England, and that left me to help uh, with stuff around the farm and hitchhike into classes, uh, which was kind of fun. Um, some other good memories. I have to go back to Snowshoe and all the trips we had up there. They were a great time and uh, Elizabeth and myself, we were trying to figure out where to go skiing after Christmas to this year, and we weren't going interested in flying. So um, Snowshoe came up and that brought back all those memories and those great ski, ski trips and having fun, fun times. Um, miss you guys, love you. Happy holidays to the Pascarosas, bye. I'm so sorry that I procrastinated this long. Anyway, I have way too many memories to share about your tribute and I'm so happy to hear that um, Tara and your family are putting together this tri tribute. Um, I'm the only one that's on Facebook so I guess my video is going to be the only one. I have millions of memories of hanging out at the farm up in um, Pulaski and in um, Ocean View. Oh my gosh, I, I like carried around your children like they were my own. You weren't that much older than me, so I guess I'm not far behind you. I'm almost 60 now, but um, I love you so much and I'm so happy to watch the videos of everybody else. Um, I hope it's not another 20 years before I see you again. I love you, Marnie. Take care. Okay, we're doing this again, Marnie, because the first time we did, I didn't send upload. And it didn't remind me that it took the video. And if we wanted to, send it or re-record it, so. But we wanna wish you a very happy birthday. And a happy new year and Merry Christmas right and you're going to be 70 and we have very wonderful memories of the time we uh, spent together and all of the beautiful meals that you made us it was wonderful and your beautiful children Blacksburg Pulaski Virginia Beach what was the name of that other town in Norfolk uh, that little that beautiful home at 8, 811 or 818. Um, what's the name of that little town in Norfolk? I wasn't there. It was great. Yeah. But at any rate, so you're going to be 70 and 
they say things get better with time and maybe that's true but I do know that this gets better with time so we're gonna have a little toast to you right now and oh I already got some from the previous toast and I have some too now you have some so we're gonna wish you the best and we love you we miss you and we want to remind you to send us your emails and phone numbers of everybody in your family because I've discovered I have a bunch of photos that I never really processed um, black and white some in color of the trips that I pushed in a some sort of valise or something that we've moved twice since well, in the last two years so we're in San Antonio right now with payback for Hilda and her family so <laughs> I love Lakeway and being on the water, as you have done uh, in Virginia Beach. We have the San Antonio River. It's beautiful. <sighs> it's a trinkle. It's <laughs> a little. But at any rate, uh, we are where we are, and uh, we wish you were here as well. So we love you. Cheers, Marnie. Have many more. Oh, by the way, do you recognize this? Let's see if there's a... I wonder where I got this from. Maybe... Did Paul make that? I think somebody did, yeah. This is uh, from... Not Blacksburg, but in... What's that other old town that we lived in? Newport. Newport. You see, things don't get better with age when it comes to memory. Newport. But, uh, yeah, that was some magical times. And we hope that times right now are really good for you, even better. We love you. Take care. Take care, Marnie. Okay, upload it. Now we're going to try to upload. Hi, Marnie. It's Kenny. Happy birthday on Christmas Day. Uh, of course, your birthday is a couple of days from now. Uh, anyway, I wanted to be part of this incredible uh, tribute to your wonderful life and you as a wonderful person. Uh, you and I go back to Graydon Avenue and uh, building the house out in Newport and so many other memories. And it's almost been 50 years. So I just wanted to say, after 50 years of knowing you, I love you even more than ever. And um, very proud to be your friend and a member of your family. Merry Christmas and happy birthday. Good morning, Arnie Brady Pastorosa. Happy birthday, my darling friend. How are you? I got up early, especially for you. I don't normally get up at six in the morning anymore, not unless I have to. So I did this morning so that you could get a view of my beautiful Kailua Beach and the sunrise. Yeah, isn't that pretty? So your adorable daughter had this great idea to make a video and share some memories. <laughs> I don't know, our memories are pretty crazy, yeah. Um, I have one that stands out when we were in Miss Ridgecrest China Lake and you won. You got the crown. And so our parents, I don't know, maybe it was my mom. We had to hang out at the hideaway, you know, for the reception. So there we are in our gowns, our sashes and our crowns. And our double boyfriends are hanging out by the door going, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. So we get in their car, and there we are, flying down highway, what, 395, smoking a water pipe in our gowns, <laughs> and we're saying, wow, if they could see us now, Miss Ridgecrest trying to lake. Yes, we did that. So ashamed. So ashamed. <laughs> Lots of other memories, like me telling my mom, oh, hey, I'm going to go sleep at Marnie's house, okay? Oh, okay, honey, you know, nice, safe parents, good neighbors, good. Little did they know we were all passed out, throwing up in the golf course behind your house after the huge party that your brothers would throw. 
They didn't know. And what about the time you cracked your head on the coffee table because we had been drinking or something? Do you remember that? God, I thought, I, I still think you need to ch get that checked out because that scared me half to death. But remember, we used to take vodka from my dad's bottles, throw it in some Coke, and then we would fill his vodka bottle with a little bit of water. He will never know, right? Well, about three years before he passed, he was 93, and I sat him down and we had a conversation about the old days. And he mentioned something about his vodka not tasting right. I said, Daddy, <laughs> And we used to put water in it. He goes, oh, that was you? I said, yeah, that was us. Well, we survived ourselves, didn't we? We survived ourselves. And I guess we done all right. Had some tough times, a lot of losses, a lot of blessings. So uh, let's not wait another 30 freaking years before we see each other again because I don't think I'm going to last that long. I mean, I think I got another 15 maybe. Yeah, so this is it. The big 7-0. Happy, happy birthday, my darling. Let's get together, okay? And Tara, good on you, honey. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay. Aloha. Hey, Marty and Terry. I think that's my name. Right. How are you doing? We had to identify ourselves because you might not recognize us. That's right. That's we right. just wanted to wish you the best and happiest 70th birthday coming up. You beat us. Well, you beat me. I'll get you to it. But Terry beat you to it. We, Happy birthday, dear. We love seeing you a couple years ago when you came with Tara. And I love seeing you here for my 40th birthday party, which I'll never forget. And loved being with you for high school, two years of high school, and yeah, I never will forget that powder puff football game with you. Man, 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 yes. <laughs> Fun memories. We love you. Have a wonderful birthday. I love you, honey. You're still beautiful as ever. Ever, excuse me. <laughs> but uh, Merry Christmas to to you and your family. Okay. Have a great day. Well, this is an old friend from the past checking in with you, Marnie. The way I'm doing it is because my recorder on my phone does not work in the uh, selfie mode. So I'm doing it this way and then I'm going to do this. And hopefully everything's working okay. But anyway, this is uh, your old next door neighbor from China Lake, and I'm uh, I'm doing this to wish you a happy uh, big birthday coming up. Uh, one for the record books, big seventy, and uh, uh, yeah, that's very serious age. But I'm I'm sure that you uh, are as lighthearted and um, happy-go-lucky as I remember you in China Lake. I hope you are. Um, Vicki uh, actually uh, hit me up and s told me that it was your birthday and that it would be good if I uh, dropped you a line. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, I was thinking of a funny uh, thing that happened to us when we were neighbors. I don't know if you remember this, but your mom and my mom decided that our two dogs, my red dog and your, your dog Penny, I think she was Golden Retriever, and I'm not sure I have the name right, but anyway. They were caught in the act of doing the naughty thing in one of our backyards. And your mom and my mom, being good Catholic women, I think decided that the right thing to do was for them to get married quickly. And they actually dressed up, your mom dressed up your dog as a blushing bride. My red dog came the way he was, and they performed a ceremony and they made it official, so they were married. 
and everything was restored to order on, when we live on, Ticonderoga Street, whatever. Everything was restored to order back in our neighborhood. And uh, yeah, so life was good. So those kind of funny things always stayed with me. And um, yeah, it was a good time, good time. I wish you'd made it out to the 50th uh, Burroughs uh, High School reunion. Uh, I did manage to get out there. I brought my wife, uh, my son, his wife, and their baby girl, Lily. And they actually are Southern people now. They live in, uh, they live in Panama, Panama Beach, <clears throat> Florida. He's in the dive, he's a Navy diver, and he's, he's an instructor at the dive school in Panama Beach. So, uh, yeah, we were back there visiting uh, two months ago. Got some of that good food, had some fried oysters, some fried shrimp, some, if I'm not mistaken, hush puppies. Those were good. And um, we had, for dessert, we had uh, key lime pie, which I bet you don't get where you are, but man, that was good. These Florida key limes are just outstanding. So it was good to have a taste of that. And uh, I always remember your little bit of your Southern accent. I think it was Virginia accent, right? Not North Carolina, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So God bless you, sissy. And uh, I hope all is well with you. And it would be great to see you at some time if, if the high school ever puts another reunion together, which I think they're planning, but you know, who knows? Um, and uh, maybe you can come out west and we can all visit with each other. So take care. God bless you. Happy birthday. Happy 70th. And uh, uh, may the road rise up to meet you. And uh, all your days are good. So take care. Love you. Bye. Hey, Marnie Brady. How you doing out there? It's my understanding that you have a birthday coming up. Your daughter has been doing a great job of kidding us all together to get the message out to you. Take it from me. This next one only hurts for a day, then it's all over with. You'll feel good the next day like nothing had happened. She also wanted me to try to remember something that uh, last time I saw you. And I believe that was with your brother Bob's uh, wedding when he was married to Marnie there in Independence. Anyhow, that party that we all had the night before was the one that I still got pictures of. Maybe one day I'll share them with you. Anyhow, you take good care of yourself, and happy birthday, kiddo. Hi, Marnie. It's Angela and Dee, and we just wanted to tell you happy birthday, and we're thinking about you, and um, I have so many fond memories of you. It's hard to choose, but I love thinking about how Dorothy always said that you raised us, and I love thinking about it that way. We had so many fun times together, and what what sticks out the most to me right now is that I still make all the recipes you taught me how to make and they're my favorites and I loved when I used to ask you to help me make something if it was at work or anywhere you said step aside and I'll do that for you because you didn't need my help you you knew how to do everything so um that's just a fond memory for me and I have so many from work and from outside of work and I love you to pieces and I hope you have a very happy birthday and I Hope I get to see you very soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Hey, Marty, it's Dorothy. I uh, want to wish you a very happy birthday. And I miss you. I miss working with you. We had a lot of fond memories together. We shared a lot of great times here at Glasser. Um, I just wanted to share with you my funniest moment was when you came into the office and told us about the um day when you woke up you um went to 7-eleven and you got your coffee you drove into the office you were wondering why there wasn't much traffic on the road came into the office clocked in um made your breakfast and still were wondering why no one was here and then you realized it was 7 30 p.m not 7 30 a.m <laughs> anyway we love you we miss you i hope you have a wonderful birthday and again i hope we can get together again soon love you bye <laughs> hey marnie happy birthday my wonderful friend I met, we met at G&G &G in 1994, and you've been a sister to me 
ever since. Um, I remember a lot of our crazy antics in and around Norfolk and Virginia Beach. And a couple of the most memorable times, I think, were our chaperoning trip for Paul's senior class uh, trip to Snowshoe. Um, we were the ones that needed the chaperoning, if you recall. And I remember the whitewater rafting trip to West Virginia and how you almost had a stroke when the uh, bus driver uh, backed up. We were on a school bus and we were way in the back and he backed up over a ravine, but the axle was actually way away from the ravine because of the way the bus the buses are made but uh, that was I've never seen you more scared in my entire life um, and then um, I um, especially love all the trips that you and I and Valerie have shared over the years um, just about every year and I hope you have a wonderful birthday and I love you very much take care Hi, Marnie. Hey, it's me, Valerie. Happy birthday. Oh, must feel wonderful to turn this vast age. I've been there. Anyway, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and share a memory that I had of you, me, and Janet our other partner in crime. Uh, our desire was when we uh, retired from the law firm, which apparently you were the only one who did that, um, we were going to become waitresses at Dumars. You know, going out to the cars and taking their orders and their, their pork rolls and their lime aids and well, anyway, it was a nice thought. Sorry, we're not living nearby, otherwise we would be doing that, right? Anyhow, uh, just wanted to say, uh, I think that you are wonderful. You have been so daring. The fact that you drove up to, well, actually you were driven up to the top of Mount Evans and of course, I think, I think you were lying down in the back seat because of the height <laughs> and the steep drops, but you actually made it up to the top. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do it. I, I did go almost all the way years ago. Anyway, uh, that was fun. All the trips that we took together, and uh, do you remember Nordstrom and buying all that makeup after we had the three of us had been made up and then deciding on the way back to Janet's house that hey this was Nordstrom by the way in Chicago hey we really spent a lot of money and that was kind of ridiculous we ended up returning almost everything that was crazy but the antics we've had it was fun and that's why people in, uh, at the law firm used to say to us when we walk into the office, here comes trouble. Anyway, it was fun, had a good time, and I'm looking forward to more good times with you. Take care, darling, and happy birthday again. Bye-bye. Hey, Marnie, Mimi all of those hats that you wear so well. Oh my goodness. What can I say other than I think that you are one of the most loving and nurturing and dedicated women that I know. I have always cherished our friendship and appreciated your support and encouragement throughout my life. Um, you are one of the strongest women that I know. 
uh, the love that exudes from you and through your family is a testament to how wonderful you are and um, you're just a tremendous person. So on your 70th birthday, I wish you continued health, lots of happiness, lots of love and fun and laughter, which I know that you have on a regular basis because you surround yourself with your family that just adores you. So just wanted to send a message to you to let you know that I love you and I am wishing you all things wonderful on your birthday and every day. Take care, Marnie. Love you. Hey, Marnie Mama. Happy birthday. I love you. I just want to take a minute and say I've had so much fun with you over these, my gosh, past 30 something years. Um, we have skied all over the country together. We have ridden snowmobiles in Yellowstone. You guys came out to Tahoe. We took a boat cruise in the middle of a blizzard and you ended up on some guy's lap. <laughs> anyway, I love you so much. It's always so fun when you're around. Have a wonderful, beautiful, amazing birthday. Bye. Hey, Marnie. Happy birthday. Sitting outside on a sort of cold and rainy day. And uh, I don't know. Just wanted to say happy birthday to you and, and, and let you know that on a cold and rainy day, you are always one person who brings lots of sunshine and warmth into a room. Uh, you've been there as a friend, as a, as a confidant, uh, a shoulder to lean on, someone for support for, for, for many people. And um, we're, we're, we're all glad you were born. So I hope you have a wonderful, happy birthday. Um, do something fun for yourself and uh, I love you me me lots of love one of my most favorite memories of Marnie goes back about 30 years ago I guess um, when Tara and I were in high school we decided to skip school one day and go back to her house on Lauderdale um, we were hanging out. It was early morning. Um, Marnie had gone to work and we were upstairs on the roof and um, I think we had some guys with us and we were probably drinking who knows what and um, we hear a door slam, car door slam and Tara looks and it's Marnie. She's home. She apparently wore slippers to work that day and um, had to come home and change her shoes. So, needless to say, we were busted. Marnie carried our asses back to school. Um, and yeah, we were quite a handful back then. Um, that's one of many memories and things that Marnie has put up with us over the years and she thankfully still loves us all. Happy birthday, Marnie. I hope it's a great one and a good 2021 for you. Happy birthday, Marnie. We love you. We really appreciate you taking me into your family and you're the closest thing I have to a mom. So I wish you the best. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marnie. I can't believe it's your 70th. I kind of always felt you'll just live forever and ever ageless. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic birthday. Thank you for being like a second mother to me. I'm actually at my family's house for Christmas and it's Christmas morning. And I hope that you are enjoying your family for your <clears throat> Christmas holiday. Um, and just want to say I love you and thank you for being you and the generous, beautiful, bright soul that you are. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mimi. We love you. We hope you have the best 70th birthday ever. Our favorite memory of Mimi, well, my favorite is 
how Mimi used to help me with Lucy when she was born and she would always hold Lulu and she always makes us feel warm and welcomed and we love Mimi. You're the best grandma in the world. Hope you have a great birthday. Hey morning, it's Jesse. Just want to wish you a happy birthday. Hope everything's well with you. Hope to see you soon. Thanks. Happy 70th morning from Brock Beagle. Coming from my work trailer. That's right. I don't really have one good story about Marnie, but you were the coolest mom growing up. I guess because uh, Tara broke you in properly. So, hope you have a good birthday and you're staying healthy, safe in these trying times. Happy birthday, Marnie! Hope you have a wonderful 70th. Miss ya! See you soon. Marnie, you've always been so kind and have always made us feel so welcome when we're around you. We just wanted to wish you a happy 70th birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Marnie. Marnie. To the incomparable, unstoppable, unflappable, extraordinary Mimi, I wish you the happiest of birthdays. Uh, you're one in a million. Uh, every adventure that I've been on with you has been uh, phenomenal. From North Carolina to Scary Stone, even to the lights at uh, the museum the other night. Anyway, uh, I look forward to having more fun. In the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Hey Mimi, this is your favorite Dutchman. How are you? I hope you made it well through this crazy year. It was Great to get to know you a little bit uh, this year, and we took an awesome trip to the, to the hills with Tara and Liz and, and, and the boys. Uh, remember that awesome hike we took, that 26 mile hike or something, and I figured I'd stay, stick with you so we wouldn't have to go all the way, but that didn't really turn out the way I expected. So, but uh, you're a great sport. Uh, I wish you a great, great birthday tomorrow and, and a happy new year, and I hope to see you in 21. Take care. Hey Marnie, happy birthday. That's my vintage owl collection hanging out with me in the back. But I wanted to say I hope you are gonna have a great day and I can't wait to grow up and be just like you. Not kidding. Um, and so happy that you're on a lot of our adventures making memories with us and happy new year as well. Thank you.